day, guys. Kevin Gordon's have been unkind to me today. As you can see, I've been in complete clag today. Uh, horrendous clag, visibility down to 10 metres at times. Probably less at the summits. Really atrocious weather on Cairngorm, Breerach and Ben McDowell. There's snow up there as well. Nasty. Very, very cold. Very, very cold indeed. And I was on my hoofs. I was on my hoofs at pace today because on days where you can't see anything, um, there's no stop-offs. It's just fitness. I treat it as fitness. But when I say it's a, the weather's been atrocious, you can literally see the clag coming in. And when I talk about weather that will kill you, that is the weather I'm talking about. It's above zero, but it's five, six, you know, four, five, six degrees with the wind chill. And it's just that, it's just something that, it's not warm and it's not freezing, it's just horrible. Uh, and I'm not at full fitness just now, I'm far from it. So I had to get out and do this because I have to kind of run something out and kind of get my chest working. That's just the way I believe that I respond better than sitting around. But yeah, not a lot of people up here. Uh, I've only passed a couple of people. It's a real atrocious day. This is the first time that it's really kind of stopped drizzling. The Gore-Tex is just about giving up, but it is, it has been a horrendous day. Got about two kilometres left to get home. Yeah, nasty, nasty guys. You see it's just kind of clearing again and then it's, it's back in, it's back out. Days like that, horrendous for navigating. You do not want to get lost. You just don't want to get lost in a day like that because if you can't see yourself it's highly unlikely that anybody else can see you so bear that in mind There it's clear again guys, look how quickly that just cleared 20 seconds and it's actually clear again That's what the Cairngorms do the Cairngorms are one of the most difficult places in the UK to navigate and predict weather so if you can't carry it then don't go out if you can't do it don't do it that's serious that's a, that's a serious bit of advice they're very bleak they all look the same they're all extremely exposed and you have to know what you're doing you have to know what you're doing out there and you've got to be fit enough to get out and get back so don't expect comfort and don't expect an easy day in the Cairngorms when you're over a thousand metres it's a different ball game the good weather's coming and you do get days up here that's beautiful where you well, probably you couldn't drink enough water so horses for courses guys just plan it don't go and be full hardy and get caught out I've been a little bit full hardy today for my fitness, my chest isn't great and uh, I should be relaxing somewhere but that's not me anyway there you go, it's cleared the back of me it's still it's got still got that scary gloom if you're into horror films you'll have seen the fog the old classic fog films of the dead pirates come chapping at the door with the hooks in the hands that's what I always think about when I'm walking through the fog I never look behind me yeah and if I was stopping off tonight or setting up a tent my dry kit, I would be in the tent and my dry kit would be on immediately to start heating the body up from the core and getting the hot drinks in. 
I would have a couple of hot drinks one after the other because it's the dampness that does the damage. I'm absolutely certain that it's the dampness that catches people out time and time again and not the actual cold. So, carry the kit and adapt yourself to the mountain, not the mountain to the man. You will never mould the mountain to yourself. You have to mould yourself to the mountain. That's what you've got to do. No shortage of water, guys. All drinking water. All rain and snow melt right off the summits. Beautiful. It's like mineral water. So no need to carry big weights. I've said it many times. This time of year, don't need steri tabs. I actually never use them. Some people do, I don't, I never have. And now I'm walking back into a clear patch. And yet, for 90% of the day, it has been completely and utterly shrouded in clag, which is absolute blanket fog. Horrible blanket fog. That is a cold day. And that sounds gloomy and doomy. But not every day is going to be a good one. You know, it's not all uh, photographs and summits and beautiful sunsets and landscapes. Sometimes, I mean, we live in Scotland, that is what it is. So, we make the most of it, we take the good with the bad. Some people choose to go out regardless, and some don't. They're not all the same. And I'm feeling it today, I'm feeling it because I'm not at full fitness. Legs are starting to get heavy. Breathing, breathing's not great. But, two kilometres left. And then it's a... Hey, sarah, sarah. What did everybody get up to today, I wonder? Deli, box sets, pizza. What did anyone do? Was anybody out? Did anybody get out and about? The cane gorms, eh? Bloody hell. But like Dartmoor, a solid Dartmoor. Dartmoor's just a scaled down version. It's not got the height, but it's certainly got the weather. And it's got the landscape and it's got the exposure. It's also got the great ability to absolutely confuse the life out of you, throw you off a bearing, disrupt your momentum, get you lost, and trick you into thinking you're somewhere else. That's what these vast open national parks are famous for. They're famous for being horrendous. <laughs> Horrendously cruel. So as I say, adapt yourself to the mountain. Don't adapt the mountain to yourself, because it won't work. Regardless of what you think you can achieve. So, there we go. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now. I'll, I'll do the miles later and work it out. Get a rough idea. <coughs> right, guys. I will talk soon. I'm gonna get the head down, put it back, and get the wet kit off. Okey doke. Take it easy.